Perubahan iklim menyebabkan berbagai bencana alam yang lebih sulit ditangani manusia. Oleh karena itu, perubahan iklim menjadi salah satu isu yang dibahas dalam World Water Forum ke-10. Untuk menangani perubahan iklim dibutuhkan pengembangan energi baru dan terbarukan yang lebih ramah lingkungan. Di sela-sela perhelatan World Water Forum di Bali antara berkesempatan mewawancarai Menteri Energi dan Infrastruktur Uni Emirat Arab Suhail Al Mazrawi terkait perkembangan energi terbarukan dan kerjasama dengan Indonesia. And we had plenty of gas. So we decided for an environmental reason to venture into clean technologies when it comes to power generation. We did uh, the first investment, we built one of the world first and largest at that time uh, concentrated solar panel at I don't want to mention the price it was very expensive but we did that project to understand the technology and do more at that time the first plant was costing us north of more than 34 or 35 US cent per kilowatt hour solar and recently we have solar projects at less than two cent per kilowatt hour so imagine from 34 to two cent in a span of 17 years or 15 or 16 years and that's what technology can give you if you invest at a large scale solar so we are keen on tripling the capacity of renewable energy in our country by the year 2030. Now we have around five, five gigawatt or 5,000 megawatt. We will go to the level of very close to 15,000 by the year 2030. Well, when we first came to Indonesia, uh, we wanted to, to do a large scale solar. But due to the, uh, to the nature of, of Indonesia, be it very green and you have, you have forest and you cannot just cut forest to install a, 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 a solar uh, power plant. What we decided is to explore floating solar in Indonesia. And we built probably one of the world's largest floating station in Cerata, which is the 192 uh, megawatt uh, plant. We did it on time and on budget and the, the today Indonesia is showcasing that to all of their visitors as a success. Now we are working with the government because the law have changed moving from a 5% coverage of the of the water area now to 20%. So we propose to the government that we can go and do 500 megawatt in addition to the one we did. And once, if we do 500 megawatt, Indonesia will be the world's largest uh, solar, floating solar uh, uh, in, the, in the whole world. And we think it's applicable to different parts of Indonesia as well in other projects. Not only in solar, in, in solar and floating solar, we also explored how can we work with Indonesia in geothermal as geothermal is, is more of a base load and it can give you many hours of, of electricity. So what we did is we ventured into the geothermal company in Indonesia and we took it to other countries. So now we are deploying the technology that was in Indonesia, in geothermal, in countries in Africa. So the company is making more money, more profitable, and it's a listed company, so the people are making money but at the same time, it's promoting this technology uh, worldwide and it's in the whole world is benefiting from a, a cost-effective and cleaner forms of energy.